Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. In Exodus chapter 9 verses 1 through 7, God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go so they can worship me. If you don't let my people go, all the livestock in the land will be struck with a deadly plague except for the livestock belonging to the Israelites. The word is freedom. As citizens of perhaps the greatest nation that will ever exist, we treasure freedom. Other nationalities migrate to America to experience freedom. Citizens of communist and socialist countries often risk their lives to become citizens of our country because they long for freedom. Inmates in prison long for freedom. So now that I have your attention, let me ask you a question. Who owns you? Who has control over you? Uh, you might want to argue that you are free and you are not controlled by anybody because we're United States citizens and we value freedom. We're followers of Jesus and we've been set free. But this might bother you for a minute. As a follower of Jesus, you're not free. You are owned by God. You are no longer your own person. In fact, Jesus died to set us free from sin cap sin's captivity. And when you surrendered your life to Jesus, you handed the decisions of your life over to him. You gave Christ control of your life. You signed the title of your life over to him. You are his property. You are his possession and you are under his protection. If you're a follower of Jesus, similar to the way that God protected the Israelites, you have been placed securely in God's hand and he will protect you. He will bless you and he will keep you secure. So what about when we mess up? What about when we sin? What about when we are unfaithful to him? Well, the good news is this. His faithfulness to us is not based upon who we are, but it is rooted in who he is. His faithfulness is not based upon, based upon our identity. His faithfulness to us is based on his nature, his identity. Even when we mess everything up, God remains faithful to us. He remains faithful to you because you belong to him. Just like God protected the Israelites, God will continue to protect you. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.